Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range now. We're going to do a range comparison with the M&P 9 Compact 2.0 versus the Beretta PX4 Storm Double Action only. Both compact size handguns with 4 inch barrels. Excellent reputations with both companies. Let's start with the M&P 9 Compact 2.0. A very aggressive grip texturing has magazines that hold 15 rounds. A nice shooter, very much a duty gun. Three dot sights. A very comfortable trigger. It is a hinged trigger. Breaks right around five and a half pounds with the reset. Right there for the follow-up shots. Simple takedown, does have a pick rail right there. Sight hole indicator, drift adjustable rear sight. Front sight, they are metal. A well-respected gun, a lot of people love the 2.0 models. It does have pump swells that are interchangeable. This one is the medium size, fits my hand just fine. Little scalps right there in the front, doesn't really suit much for front serrations, but they are there nonetheless. They did a nice job with the 2.0 models. They uh, lessened the or decreased the beaver tail on them. Some people like that, some people do not. But let's take a few shots with this MP Compact 2.0. That was a combination of brass and steel cased 9mm. But the 2.0 models, the MP models, have been expanding. They make them in all different sizes and barrel length. And, you know, it, it started out with an MP9 and it's evolved to something like this. And a lot of people love it. And I think it's a, an excellent handgun. But over here, we've got the Breda. PX4 Storm. Now this is the Type D. It's a double action only and it's discontinued. So I want you to consider the double action, single action handgun when you think about the PX4 Storm. This holds 17 rounds in the mag. The grip is far less, less textured. It, it does have a front and heavily textured uh, front strap and back strap is what I meant to say. Double action only, all right? Hammer fired gun, three dot metal sights, a rotating barrel, which is a big draw for the PX4 Storm. Similar disassemble, or shall I say a, a, a common disassemble, all right? Same thing as many of the Glocks, just pull it back, slide, uh, you know, comes off after the tabs are pressed. It does have an accessory rail right there a lot of fans out there with the px4 storm uh, once again double action only this one has a full reset but the double action single action ones don't they have much more of a, a shorter reset but this is what i have to show and this is what i am comparing although i want you to consider all the px4 storm models let's go ahead and take a few shots All right, so I shot the PX4 Storm much better, and this is the first time that I compared these two side by side. I very much like them both. I own them both. I don't have a major preference because they're mine, no bias here whatsoever, but they're nice handguns, and I want you to choose which one you think that you would choose if you had to only choose one. I'm going to go ahead and say initially I said this one all day long just because I'm more comfortable with it but after I shot the PX4 Storm just now and this is the first time I shot them side by side I had to choose this I shot it so much better and it was so much more comfortable I got this little bug flying around on there but I feel real very much comfortable with this I wanted to choose this I have to admit even though I said there's no bias, I wanted to choose the M&P 9 Compact, but I have to go with what I shot better. And in this case, it's the Breda PX4 Storm Type D. Let me know what you think. These are both 
quality guns, very well respected companies, and you really can't go wrong with either. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.